Okay, so question number five. For the combustion of octane, which is C8H18, present in gasoline, uh, they have the following equation where we have two C8H18 plus 25O2 makes 16CO2 plus 18H2O. Okay, so now we need to calculate A, the number of moles of oxygen required to burn 50 grams of octane, and B, the grams of oxygen required to burn uh, 50 grams of octane, C, the moles of carbon dioxide produced while burning 50 grams of octane, and D, grams of carbon dioxide produced while burning 50 grams of octane. Okay, so this is a multi-step question, but before we try to calculate the number of moles, we need to find the molar mass of octane. So they gave us the chemical compound, which is C8H18. And to calculate the molar mass, we need both the molar masses of carbon and hydrogen. So the mass, molar mass of the compound will be 8 times the molar mass of carbon plus 18 times the molar mass of hydrogen. So these molar mass values uh, can be found using the periodic table. So 8 times 12.01 plus 18 times 1.01 gives us a molar mass of around 114 uh, 0.26 grams per mole. Okay, so now that we have the molar mass, uh, first let's calculate the number of moles of oxygen required to burn 50 grams of octane. Okay, so first we need to find the number of moles of octane. And this is done by dividing the mass of octane by the molar mass. So the mass of octane is 50 grams, and the molar mass is 114.26 grams per mole. Okay, so let's pull up a calculator. and we get around 0 0.438 moles. And this is C8H18. Okay, so now we need to multiply these moles by the mole ratio between octane and oxygen. So this is why it's important to always make sure that your reaction equation is balanced. So the mole ratio will help us find the number of moles of oxygen required to burn this amount of moles of octane. So we know that they react at a ratio of 2 to 25. So when I multiply by this ratio, I'm putting the 25 on top since these are the number of moles I'm looking for, 
of oxygen, and I'm putting the two moles of octane at the bottom, since when I multiply these out, my moles of octane will cancel out, and I'm left with the number of moles required for oxygen. So 5.48 moles of oxygen is required. Okay, so that's part A. And for part B, we need to find the grams of oxygen required to burn 50 grams of octane. So if we recall that the molar mass of oxygen is just two times the molar mass of atomic oxygen, where it's two times 16 grams per mole, then we get a molar mass of oxygen to be around 32 grams per mole. So when calculating the mass required, by rearranging this number of moles equation, we can find mass by multiplying the number of moles times the molar mass. So we found the molar, the number of moles to be 5.48 moles of oxygen times its molar mass, which is 32 grams per mole. So this means 175 grams of O2 is required. Okay, so now for part C, we need the number of moles of carbon dioxide produced while burning 50 grams of octane. So we already know that we have 0 0.438 moles of octane, and we just need to multiply by the molar ratio between carbon dioxide and octane. So now we multiply by 16 moles of CO2 is produced for every two moles of octane. So when we multiply this out, we get 3.508 moles of CO2 produced. So again, you'll notice our moles of octane will cancel out. And then lastly, for part D, we need the grams of carbon dioxide produced while burning 50 grams of octane. So the molar mass of carbon dioxide is equal to the molar mass of carbon, which is 12.01, plus the mol two times the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16. So this gives us a molar mass of around 44 grams per mole. And again, when finding mass, it's going to be the number of moles, which was 3.508 times the molar mass, which was 44 grams per mole, which tells us that uh, the mass formed is 154.38. Okay, so we have all of our answers. So let me just put them in a box. And we can see what the junior tutor said. So for part A, first solve the number of moles of octane. So they got 0 
And for part A, 5.48 moles of oxygen is required, uh, which is converted to 175 grams. And for part C, they have 3.508 moles of CO2 produced and 154.38 grams of CO2 produced. So this solution is correct. Thank <laughs> you.